Hello, hello. Today I'll be demonstrating my scroll puzzle generator with a treasure map I made for my players. Now this treasure map probably doesn't fit into your world. Probably none of the images provided with the scroll puzzle generator do. The purpose of this puzzle and of the images that come with the generator is to demonstrate its use. The intention is to give you the tools to turn images specific to your campaign and to your world into these kinds of puzzles. A treasure map, I think, is particularly suited to this kind of puzzle because the puzzle itself reveals more information about the world to reward your discovery loving players in addition to the payout for the challenge loving players. Plus, it provides the next story beat for your narrative loving players and wraps it all into the world for the fantasy lovers. And the players all gather around with something tangible to solve together for a little extra fellowship. So something for everyone. Now, of course, the first thing to do would be to download the scroll puzzle generator from DriveThruRPG. And then the next thing is to open it up. So you open it up and you see that you've got the options to pick all these different images. Um, and the first image of concern is going to be the actual image that the puzzle reveals. And so I've got that here, the ghost keep treasure map. And I'm going to copy that. I'm just gonna move it into images. And so this is where all the images are going to live that are used by the puzzles that the scroll generator makes. So now that we have that there, we can come in here. It knows it's looking for pictures, so it opens up the pictures, but we can just move on over to where we put that image and uh, grab that. And then we're gonna wanna choose a background image I'm just going to use one of the ones that came with the generator. And I'm going to use kind of the generic paper that came with it as well. Do the tan paper and the tan scrolls. And so this is going to end up looking like there's some scrolls coming out of the, um, the table somehow. Or laid out on the table. We're not going to have a background change because the map is the payoff here. And so now it's a design question, right? Of, of how many scrolls across versus how many scrolls high you want this to be. Um, because my image is very tall, it's going to look better probably with fewer scrolls across and more scrolls high. Uh, that does end up being more clicks for the players. So let's go ahead and start with three and four and we'll give uh, a one scroll buffer and see it make that as, as clean as possible for them to be able to maneuver things. And I'm gonna call this treasure map one. We hit generate puzzle and then we save it. Probably wanted to right click that and say save link as to make sure it went in the right place because it did not go in the right place. You really need to save it into this puzzle folder. So we'll save it there. And so when we open it up, it now finds all of the images that it needs. And we can see it's four deep with that um, extra buffer on the bottom there. And I. Kind of like this size. Now we could, uh, it might make sense depends on, on the difficulty level your players want to experience, right? So I'm going to end up generating a couple of these because not knowing what the map looks like as you're starting out here. Um, some of these really blank pieces are going to be hard to place. And in particular, you don't really know what belongs in the north and in the south. You can kind of tell that this is an endpoint here. You can figure out that the pines match up together. So this, I think this would be perfectly acceptable to give to a lot of my players. Depends on how long I want them spending working on, on trying to decipher this map. So I'm going to come back in here and 
I'm just going to bump both of these down by one, actually, and see what a, a two by three looks like. I'll call it two. I'll tell it to generate the puzzle. So now that new link should be at this location. I'm going to save it as treasure map two. We'll open that up and see what that looks like. And this is going to be much simpler, right? There's plenty of room to maneuver the pieces down here. And so there you have it. I, th I think that this is probably how I would uh, would probably present it to my players. Maybe I would use the other one if I thought that they were up to something a little more complex. I'm going to solve this just because I can't resist solving these um, once I have them in my hand. <laughs> uh, that's maybe the danger. Boom. Temporary holding. Actually, that's actually the right spot. And then boom and boom. And so at this point, uh, it's not the right place. So at this point, they would have the map. They would want to copy this down. There's no intrinsic reward to having solved this puzzle other than receiving that map, right? So there's no message that says you're done. They have to identify that they've completed the map. It'd be much harder to do it on this version. I think it's still doable. I wouldn't I wouldn't shy away from giving this to my players, at least certain groups. And so there you have it. Very quickly, you can generate a puzzle that can give your players a treasure map or, or really any kind of image that, that pertains to your world. And so I invite you to go and find this. I'm going to upload this to DriveThruRPG. There's a few other um scroll puzzles that i've generated using this on drive through rpg to kind of demonstrate the concept those ones have a payoff of of gaining access to a to a building or a dungeon that the puzzle was was gating off and of course you can get the generator as well on drive through rpg and the link will be in the description below and i hope you will because i think that it can really bring some engaging puzzles to your campaign. Thanks for watching.